Alright guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to switch out a neck pickup on a guitar like this with it mounted straight to the body instead of being in a pickup ring, but the rest is going to be all the same besides that. I'm going to be switching out this Seymour Duncan SSL 5 in for a Duncan Cool Rail. So let's get started. So the first step is going to be to unscrew these screws that are holding the pickup on. If your pickup has a mounting ring, then unscrew the four corner screws, and that'll loosen the ring, and then take the screws out. Now flip the guitar over. If you got a tremolo arm on it, go ahead and pop that off before you turn it over. Okay, next, we're gonna remove the rear control plate. Okay, so the way this guitar is wired, it has two pickups wired to the switch and then the switch to the volume. So you can see here, this white cotton wire here is actually the neck pickup that we're gonna be removing. Over here on the other side of the switch is the black wire from the humbucker in the bridge position. So in the middle, this white one here, as you can probably guess, is gonna be the output of the switch, goes down here to the input of the volume pot. This is a special type of volume pot, both of them, they're push pulls, so it may look a little different than some of the ones you guys may have, which may look like round, flat objects, but these ones just have a little extra switch mounted on top. So what we're gonna need to do, and the reason I had you unscrew the pickup already is because you need to move the pickup sometimes to be able to tell which wires go to which pickup. In this case, you don't need to, but sometimes the neck and the bridge pickup wiring looks the same. So if that were the case, then you need to flip the guitar back over and wiggle the pickup so you could see the wires moving on the bottom. A little trick with this guitar in particular is you can put the whammy bar back in. Let's zoom back out here. There we go. You could take a guitar cloth for cleaning the guitar, depress the whammy bar all the way down, shove it in there. Now the strings are nice and loose. And you may even need to press it down a little further, but you could slide the pickup and kind of wiggle it. If you do that while looking at the back, then while you move the pickup, you'll be able to see which wires are moving down there and which wires you need to desolder from the switch. Now that we know which wires we're going to be desoldering, get the soldering iron out. If you don't know how to properly solder, then go watch some of my other videos. I have a, a basic guitar video on how to solder guitars. Go check that out. So I tin my my tip there. There's the ground, pop that right off. Then right down here we got the output wire. Heat that up a little bit. All right, now let's flip the guitar back over. Now that the pickup is loose, if you may need to remove the strings to remove the pickup, but make sure you take the screws out. You don't want the screws scratching your surface. With the Floyd Rose, you can flop that bar out and get the pickup out very easily. And they pull right through. All right, so now we got this guy out and this guy is going in. All right, I just fished through my new neck pickup cable here and I'm gonna strip this guy back a little bit so give myself a little over an inch pull back that's the ground this black one's gonna be the hot output red and white are the coil links and then the bear is gonna go with the green let's go ahead and strip the leads you really don't need to strip them too far, maybe an eighth of an inch, quarter of an inch, somewhere in that range. So the red and white, those will get connected together right off the bat. Just kind of twist those together a little bit. Get your soldering iron, clean it off. A little bit of solder underneath the wires, and then you apply solder to the top.
the idea is to put the heat source underneath the wires to heat the wires. You may need to put a, a little drop of solder on first to do that. Then you put the solder directly to the wires, not to the iron. Sometimes you need to dab it to the iron to keep the heat flow going, but the idea is to use the iron on the bottom, the wire in the middle, and the solder on top of the wire. I'm going to take the green and the bare wire. Maybe we'll strip the green one back a little further. About a quarter of an inch I got now. Twist the edge of both of those together. I'm going to solder that right onto the edge of that eventually. First we'll solder them together as one. Then, since they both have solder on them there, and the point down here has solder from the last pickup, go ahead and just touch that. That reflows. Drop that wire in there. Pick it up and let it dry. You want to hold that still and don't blow on it either because if you blow on it you can get cold solder joints and then with the remaining black wire let's tin it which means you put solder on it make it ready to just transfer heat and then we'll put it right over here where it belongs on the switch heat the, the switch up here and then drop this right down in it We should be good. Now what you're gonna wanna do is put some heat shrink or electrical tape on the end of this, close it up and keep that separated because if that touches stuff, that's no good. In this case, what I'm gonna do, since I have a push-pull switch here, you can see I've already done it with the bridge pickup. I'm gonna take the red and white wires and attach them. Here we go. So we have this red and white one already going to the second lug down on the switch. The bottom lug goes to the ground. So what happens when you pull up the switch, it closes that circuit and it makes the red and white wire close with that ground and it cuts off one of your coils. So it gives you a single coil effect. Well, that other one I just installed has red and whites. So if you look at the other side of this switch, it's got a whole other set of lugs right there. The bottom one is already grounded as well, so all I have to do is attach it to that middle lug, and we got coil tapping, baby. Of course, don't forget to replace your back cover if you had to take that off. And also the screws to replace them and mount the pickup.